Welcome to this lesson about barring. This lesson covers the five P's of safe barring. In this lesson, we explain the what, the how, and the why of each of these steps. Learning how to bar correctly will help you and everyone working with you to work more safely. Please pay close attention. The five P's of barring are 1. Prepare yourself. 2. Prepare the area. 3. Prepare others. 4. Position yourself. And 5. Proceed. Each of the five P's has two simple key points to follow. Let's take a closer look at each of the key points together. 1. Prepare yourself. PPE. First, prepare yourself when you are about to bar. Remember, safety is always first. This is why you must make sure that you have all the correct PPE according to the standard required by your mine. Pinch bar. After making sure that you have all the correct PPE, make sure that you are using the best tools for the job. Have a look at your pinch bar. Is it long enough for the job? Remember, if your pinch bar is too short, you will end up reaching too far when barring. This may cause you to end up standing under the rocks which you will be barring. If barring at the stope face, use a 1.2 meter pinch bar. When barring ASGs, use a 1.8 meter pinch bar. For development ends, Use a 3 meter pinch bar. When you have a pinch bar that is long enough, make sure that both the ends are sharp. Blunt ends will prevent you from wedging the pinch bar between rocks to loosen them. Make sure that the pinch bar is fitted with a protective gasket. The gasket must be secure on the pinch bar to protect your hands from getting hurt should any small rocks fall towards you. 2. Prepare the area. Next, make sure that the area you will be barring is safe for you to work in. Water down and examine the area. Use a water hose to water down the area which you will be barring. The water helps to move any dust and particles that make it difficult to see the rock. After watering down, look closely at the rock. Look for fractures and jointing that can be barred down. It is important to understand the jointing and fracturing. This will help you to understand where the rocks will fall when barring them down. Clear the escape route. Depending on which direction the joints and fractures run in the area, make sure that you have a clear escape route. Always make sure that you leave space behind you to move out of the way of falling rock. Clear all rocks and tools that might be in your way. This will allow you to move to a place of safety if you need to. 3. Prepare others. Preparing other workers in the area has two key points. 1. Warn people to stand on the safe or up dip side. Make sure that the people in the area are aware that you will be barring. Tell him to keep away. Make sure you withdraw all people from the down dip side of the area to be barred. 2. Make sure that the area is secure. If you need to, place guards in the surrounding areas to warn other workers that the area is being barred. Place these guards according to your mind's standard. Have buddies present. When barring, we aren't always aware of the dangers around us. It's important to have a buddy in a safe position watching you bar. If a rock is difficult to bar down, make sure that you have a second buddy to help you bar down the rock with a second pinch bar. 4. Position yourself. Stand on the safe or up dip side. 
Select the safest side to bar from. The safer area will be supported, have less damage and fewer dangerous fractures. Never work under loose or suspect hanging walls and side walls. When in doubt, stay out. As we all know, according to Section 22 and 23 of the Mine Health and Safety Act, every employee must protect their own health and safety and the health and safety of others. Remember, you have the right to leave a dangerous working place if you feel unsafe. Always remember to bar from a safe position, usually from the up dip downwards. This prevents barred rock from coming loose and falling onto you. Have firm footing. Finally, Make sure that you have firm footing so that you do not slip and fall while barring. 5. Proceed. Bar from a supported area to an unsupported area. When barring, make sure that you always work under supported ground working your way toward unsupported ground. Never move into unsupported areas. Sound the hanging wall. Make sure that when using the pinch bar, always hold it with your hands behind the protective gasket. Sound the hanging wall by knocking the hanging wall with the flat end of the pinch bar. Start from at least 3 meters away from the actual area to be barred. If you hear a hollow sound, it means that the rock is loose or has a gap and needs to be barred down. Move backwards in the direction you came from and prepare to bar. Bar down loose ground with the pinch bar. When you find a hollow area, find a crack in the hanging wall where you can insert the sharp end of the pinch bar. Force the loose rock away from the hanging wall or side wall. Always keep your eyes open while barring. Remember, immediately drop the pinch bar if any rock dislodges and falls towards you and move out of the way. Remember, this procedure is in place to protect you and your co-workers. Stick to the rules. Stick to safety. Let's review the steps one more time. 1. Prepare yourself by checking your PPE and your pinch bar. 2. Prepare the area by watering down and looking for loose rock. 3. Prepare others by warning people to keep away and keep your buddies close. 4. Position yourself on the up dip or safest side with a firm footing and 5. Proceed with the job from a safely supported area by sounding and barring loose ground.